hello everyone so today in this uh, runtime generated landscape system we are going to work on normals and uvs so as you can see here so in the level we don't have anything uh, everything is generated in the runtime see so as you can see here we have applied uh, a simple auto material which has uh, which has some texturing it has some wet level and uh, beach level and this grass level and some after some slope it has a rocky dirt like surface as well so these things are working because we have added uvs and normals to the mesh so if you uh, i can visualize the normals here if i eject and optimization view mode sorry uh, buffer visualization normal now you can see the landscape we do have normals so previously we did not have any normals so because of that we could not apply an auto material or we didn't and also we didn't have uv so we couldn't apply any textures so we are going to work on that today and before we get started as always i'd like to remind you that you can download all the project files of this project and also all the other projects that i have done in my channel in the patreon page so to the date there are over thousand six hundred seven hundred something videos in my channel you can download any v any project file for those videos once you become a mem member without a limit and let's get back to the tutorial okay so in the runtime terrain generation system this is what we have implemented so far so the next step is working on uh, uvs and normals so that we can have a auto material applied to this uh, terrain generated so first let me just apply a simple textured material so this is just a grass texture let me apply that to the generated landscape by the way this is where we need where we apply the material so t ground grass d mat so uh, i explained these parts and everything above here here we generate the vertices and then triangles and then from using that data we create a mesh mesh section and we apply a material to that mesh so here now i have applied the grass texture now if i play now you see we don't really see any grass we only see just uh, color perhaps some color in this grass texture the reason is we don't have uvs by the way if you are not sure what uv means uv is uh, this how a texture is applied to a 3d object basically so you can just google the definition and read more if you want so since we don't have any uv information uh, the rendering system don't know how to apply the texture so that's why we don't get the texture so here we need to give uvs and you can see that uv0 array of vector 2d structures optional array of structure coordinates for each vertex if supplied must be the same length as vertices array so that means you should do that here because it should be same length as the vertices so now now that I have here let me promote this two variable here we see then we can go here get uv0 every time we add a vertex let's add a uv element so x and y so here we have x coordinate and y coordinate for each vertex so i can actually use the same thing so if here we get x 
let me just drag and drop this and here we got y let me drag and drop oh sorry this one should go to y this one should go to x right now uh if i make this public we can see what's in there so see now we can already see the texture and if i select the bp world here you can see vertices have 10,000 array elements uv also have 10,000 array elements if i expand this maybe this will is oh it's okay so yeah so it's just zero zero one zero two zero so it's same as the vertex index by the way i don't think i should keep those variables public because that makes the editor laggy see it is uh, stuck even after stopping the game the reason is it has to display a lot of elements in the details files which that should be the reason but having 10,000 elements in an array in memory that shouldn't be a problem but showing here could be a problem as i understand okay so just let me make this we don't now need to see vertices or triangles or normal so anything okay by the way we can add a multiplier here also so for example if i make it let's say something like 0 0.0, 0 this will scale up uh see now it's scaled differently in one axis and in another axis in the other axis it's uh, scaled in another well we didn't change anything there so yeah if i do the same thing well maybe not this much 0 0.01 let's try See, now we have a large scale similarly if i add a high value like 10 we will get a small stretch smaller texture see but i don't want to have anything for now i can control the texture scale from the material itself also so i leave it like this and right uh, now the next step is creating a simple auto material so let me um, okay so i'll just create a simple slope based blending that means uh, based on the angle of the surface we will have two colors so the two parameter. one I'll make this green and another color let's call it color 2 color 2 and I'll make that black okay now we can get uh, Uh, hold on we have two normal ws vertex normal and pixel normal uh, let's use pixel normal for now and then we can do a dot product with the vertical axis that means that cost three vector that means is it one that's the vertical axis so here what we are going to do is based on the slope of the surface we are going to get a value in between zero and one and then if i do a or linear interpolate between these two colors you 
can see now we get see top is uh, black bottom is green it should be other way because green is the uh, green is like the grass represents and the vertical surfaces represents more like rock surface so now we need to push this boundary up so for that we can add an offset so i'll call this uh, but let me just add something like minus 0.2 so it goes up minus 0.6 yeah see it goes up maybe further minus 0.7 okay and you can see this uh, edge becomes uh, less it becomes blurred to prevent that we can do um we can do another power node so how do we use the power now it's blurred but if I use something like this, one divided by two, we need actually a, oh, wait, hold on. We can put this, see? Now we have a sharp edge. Okay, so now if I select this material here and apply, now that's the material we are using, but we only see one color. We don't see any difference still if i let me just make this a little larger if i apply the same material you can see the this one has the change but the terrain does not so the reason is you know that we do have uvs but still something else is missing and what's missing is this uh, normals let me see if i can oh here see now this visualize normals so here for this sphere now you see the colors change based on the angle of the surface but for the terrain it's a uniform color you can see that let me drag and drop a box now here let me make this movable well, now see in the sides we do have different colors in the top we have the same color as the terrain so this means everywhere in the terrain we have the normal is vertical because this top side of the box cube is a vertical normal directly upward and we have the same color in the everywhere in the ground that means the ground also has the same upward normal at least that's what i think so let me stop now to here we do have normals but how do we calculate this this is optional because even without giving a, an array of normals we can create a mesh but we would have wrong lighting calculations with that so we can i can think of ways to calculate this using the locations of the vertices but luckily we don't have to do that Calculate normals. Wait, I remember some. Oh, it's not normals, it's calculate tangents for mesh. Yeah, so we can use this function. So let me connect it here and we have already calculated our 
vertices and triangles so we can directly input that verticals triangles and also uvs and this returns normals and tangents so let me insert this and plug normals right now if i play now you see the auto material the simple auto material is working so here you see this sloped area is somewhat looking like uh, like black represents rocky surface and green represents uh, grass so this is very simple but this is the basic step that you need to know to create an auto material to create a material that blends based on the slope and i have already worked on an auto material for landscapes in my open world project i have two open world projects one is in iv unreal engine 4 i did some time ago and another one in unreal engine 5 a more recent one so i have imported the material that i worked on here uh, into this project i'll leave a link to this tutorial where you can find out about the material i have created so you can follow them and create the material yourself if you want or you're free to use any material you like so anyway i have that material imported here this is my landscape and i'm gonna apply this now here so this has multiple stuff not just slope we have a height base blending too and here i had uh, in the previous system i was working on i had a uh, beach level and then go a level that we have grass so i think only in this top we have grass now this uh, weight look is in the places that we that it's meant to be underwater so here we have a little bit of a grass surface so that means we have to adjust this beach level so i need a reference so we are starting at zero um oh one more thing we forgot to visualize the normals now see now for the normals we have variation of colors so because we have calculated the normals so yeah back to adjusting the values all right so this is the after adjusting the values i need so here we have the beach level and then the grass level and here we have two layers actually one is some rocky surface and another one is a bit of a dirt like surface so it's not clear the distance but that's not important because that's not the focus of this tutorial the focus of this tutorial was to generate uvs and normals so i'm gonna stop this episode right here so in the next time let's look into how to generate an infinite landscape so that we will have many more cells and as we go around many more cells will be generated infinitely so thanks for watching updated project files will be available for you to download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode feel free to let me know what else you would like to cover or explain more or if you have any doubts or thoughts let me know in the comments goodbye